Okay, so I have received several comments and messages um, where y'all are asking um, about, you know, my pre poo process. Um, a lot of y'all are not understanding or you just want to make sure you understand um, that I actually put grease on my hair before I shampoo my hair. And the answer is yes. Now, some of y'all say that it doesn't make sense, so you're not going to do that. Then I get comments where, you know, some of y'all are saying, oh, I tried it and my hair was so soft. Pretty much the same thing that I've been saying in my videos. So, I just wanted to do this video just to, um, I guess, clarify the reason I put the grease on my hair before I shampoo my hair. So, for those of you that are new to my channel, I only use grease and water. I shampoo my hair and detangle while the shampoo is in my hair, rinse the shampoo out, and then I put grease, only grease, on the section of hair, twist it up. Voila, that's my routine. Before I shampoo my hair, I pre-poo, meaning I, you know, do a little treatment or whatever. It's not really a treatment, but I get some, um grease and put on my hair making sure I coat the ends before I actually apply the shampoo to my hair. The reason I'm doing that guys is because when you know when I shampoo my hair, rinse it out, put the grease on there, um, you know I twist it up and I showed y'all my little protective style, I pull it back in a bun, put these little um, slap caps on or I'll wear a silk scarf, you know, with a cotton scarf on top, like a head wrap or so. So what's happening is when I put those on my head, the grease rubs off on those and, you know, it soaks into the material, the satin and the silk. It rubs off on the um, pillowcase. You know, just say if I just lay across the bed or so and your head may touch the pillow. Girl, the grease comes off really, really easily. I sometimes see it on the sofa. Um, I know that sometimes it gets on, you know, my skin. You know, probably from touching my hair or, you know, scratching or something like that. And you may touch your face. But what I'm trying to say is that grease... It rubs off your hair and because of that I know when I get ready to shampoo my hair there's not a lot of grease on my hair so if I go in with you know rinse it with some hot water the hot water is going to rinse off some more of the grease and oil the oil that's in the grease um, it's going to rinse some of most of that off so to me in my mind i'm thinking well if the grease has rubbed off on my clothes uh you know clothes the cap the scarf most of it is gone and then i put hot water rinse with hot water okay so more of it is coming off so now my hair strands are somewhat bare and when i put the shampoo on it if I put the shampoo on it at that time, the shampoo has a better chance of stripping my hair strands because the hair strands are mm, somewhat like naked, you would say, or bare. So if I put that shampoo on it, it can instantly strip my hair. Even though it's a gentle shampoo, it still has, you know, like the harsh chemicals in it. So to prevent that, I just go ahead and get a little grease before I shampoo and put it throughout the section of my hair and then you know I let it sit. You can go back and watch my um, my wash day routine. I'll link it right up here. But so when I'm ready to shampoo, the shampoo is going to uh, be more focused on eating up that grease. You know getting rid of that grease from my hair versus just you know stripping my hair strands it's more so going to be stripping away the grease from my hair and so when I'm done shampooing you know my hair hasn't really been stripped it's clean
clean because the shampoo stripped everything off. But it doesn't feel like dry and brittle or I don't see like a lot of tangles, a lot of knots. Now I may come across, you know, one or two, three or four, but it's not like a matted section of hair. Um, the single strand knots, you don't really see that. Um, it's like really easy to detangle my hair because the shampoo did not touch my hair strands. Now, if the shampoo touches your hair strands, you're going to see your hair react to it and it's going to knot up and tangle up. So, to prevent that, I put some more grease on my hair. That's the only reason I'm putting that grease on my hair. I'm not expecting that grease to say, oh, when I say pre-poo, oh, it's going to do this and it's going to do that. No. The only thing I'm doing is like putting that layer, that barrier on the hair strands so the grease, I mean the shampoo can just strip that off. And it's going to strip off any dirt or whatever that's on the hair strands. So as I have shown y'all, this is my little silk purple scarf that I loved to wear so much but it now has a hole in it and the reason I'm showing you that hole is because I wash this scarf so much in order to get rid of the grease this scarf is so greasy maybe like uh, by the second wash or so this scarf is like so greasy sometimes the first wash um, it has like grease you can see it you can smell it and I don't like the way um, the old grease smells so I wash this scarf often so that's why it has torn up I showed this in um, the other video and I know y'all probably saying girl get rid of that scarf <laughs> but I wash this scarf a lot um, that's why it's all torn up and I suggest you do the same, whatever you're using, you know, to protect your hair. Wash the grease out often because it will break your face out. Yeah, so that's why that hole is in here. I wash it with hot water and you know you probably don't supposed to wash silk with hot water. But, you know, that hot water uh, helps get rid of the grease. Okay guys, so this is what my slap looks like. Um with all of the grease that has rubbed into it I don't think you can really see it good on camera but the inside is actually green that's from me using the green blue, blue magic hair grease um, and I'm going to wash this to get the grease out of the satin line part of the um, slap as you can see it is torn because I continuously wash these um, little caps to get the grease out and keep them fresh. Okay, so this is what the first um, satin line cap looks like that I purchased. As you can see, there are holes in it. I have washed it and washed it some more and so it's all torn up. And the inside has completely like broken apart, came apart. See that? It's holes all in it. And again, that's from me. You can see right here that it's a stain, but this is actually clean. Uh, and again, this is from me washing these slaps like every week or so, trying to get the grease out of them because once the grease get in this part this little satin part and just stays there for a while you can start to somewhat smell the grease and I don't like the smell of it so I wash these often and as you can see the instructions say to wash with cold water and line dry but because I know this part has all of that grease in it and I need to um, thoroughly wash away the grease to prevent it from smelling I wash this in hot water which has caused it to tear up and break apart 
but as I have mentioned in other videos I have several of these um, satin line caps and some that I wear I got green black I think I got blue um, Nadia and Haley has some but yeah I just keep reordering them just to make sure I have them on hand okay y'all that's pretty much it for this video I just wanted to come on and provide clarification as to why I am putting the grease on my hair before actually shampooing my hair I hope you know it makes sense and I hope you try it because I do get a lot of messages and comments you know saying how soft their hair feels and you know the they don't have as many tangles and knots so it is going to help you retain density because you're not going to have to just really comb through and break the hair off trying to detangle and you'll always also be able to retain a lot of length because um you know you won't have to cut off those single strand knots as well as you know like jerking through the hair because of the knots the grease is going to protect your hair from the shampoo okay y'all so be sure to subscribe thumbs up this video share this video with all of your social media friends and until the next video guys bye bye